Update on Aned TV. I am Ezine Oba. Former President of Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, has rejected the President's demands for clinching the All Progressive Congress presidential ticket in 2023. Information has it that the presidency invited Jonathan to join the ruling party, along with some governors from the People's Democratic Party (PDP) from the South South and South Eastern region to join the ruling party. But the former president rejected the terms and informed them that he would not seek re-election to the presidency in 2023. Traditional ruler of Bukwe village in Kwali Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, His Royal Highness Alhaji Hassan Shamidozi has been reportedly kidnapped by unknown gunmen. The monarch's brother, Malan Jibril D. Gimba, confirmed the event to newsmen on Thursday morning stating that the unknown gunmen stormed the location at about 9.32 p.m. on Wednesday and kidnapped the monarch in his palace. The River State Chairman of the Nigerian Labour Congress, MLC, Beatrice Itubo, has sworn not to back Governor Yison Wike on his presidential ambition. Itubo made this clear during the interview on Reading 93.7 FM in Port Harcourt. According to her, Wike does not care about the state's public workers and wondered whether the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential ambitions are intended to murder all workers in the country. The Benue State's governor, Samuel Otom, has charged the people of the state to rise up and defend themselves against those attempting to seize their land. Following recent attacks in the state, he gave the charge during the funeral of Second Republic Speaker of the House of Representatives. Benjamin Akachaha in Zakibiam Ukum local government area of the state. Unknown gunmen in the early hours of Thursday, 30th of March 2022, attacked and set fire to the Nnewi South local government area secretariat in Upo, Anambra state. During the attack, the invading gunmen also killed one of the security guards on duty. Meanwhile, the executive governor of Anambra state, Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, accompanied by the State Commissioner of Police, the TC Chairman of Nnewi South, Honorable Henry Chieloka, and other security chiefs, visited the Nnewi South Local Government Council, Unpo, on 31st March 2022, to express his displeasure and condemn the attack on the council. The burning of some office buildings and killing the security personnel by unknown government who attacked the council headquarters. The Imo State Police Command today successfully repelled a deadly attack by suspected members of the proscribed Instant Security Network, ESN, who attacked Mbiri Police Division. The police said the incident happened at the early hours of Friday, where a group of gunmen attacked the station with explosive devices. The acting police commissioner, Mr. Maman Giwa, disclosed this in a press statement signed by the command spokesman. CSP Mike Apatam that there was a minimal damage to police facility why no casualty was recorded. The appeal court sitting in Enugu on Friday dismissed the suit filed by the candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in Ebony State in the 2019 governorship election, Senator Sonny Oboji and his deputy, which demanded the court to declare the seat of Governor David Umwai and his deputy Dr. Kelechi Igwe vacant on account of their defection from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress, APC. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has accused the Department of State Services, DSS, of faking an intelligence report alleging that the organization planned to attack the Abuja Stadium during the World Cup qualifiers between Nigeria and Ghana. It will be recalled that prior to the World Cup qualifiers between Nigeria and Ghana, the DSS released an intelligence report claiming that the IPOP planned to blow up the Abuja Stadium. The veteran actor Pete Edochie has raised worry over Igbo people's political marginalization in the country. 
He expressed his concerns during an appearance on the BBC Igbo show where he stated that a president from the Southeast will provide strategic leadership that can structure Nigeria. And that's it for news updates on Anair the TV. Do not forget to follow us on all our social media handles on your screen. And for details of the news, log on to www.anerdoonline.ng. I am Ezine Oba. Have a wonderful day ahead. <laughs>